Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 5th math chapter number 6 angles. So in this video I am going to complete the complete chapter that is chapter number 6 angles. So first we are going to revise what are the different types of angles. The three main types of angles that we are going to study in this video are the right angle which will be of 90 degree, acute angle which will be of 60 degree and obtuse angle which is more than 90 degree. Okay, so this we have already done before also. We all know what is right angle, acute angle and an obtuse angle. So right angle whose angle is 90 degree, acute angle whose angle is less than 90 degree and obtuse angle whose angle is more than 90 degree. Alright, now there are few examples that have been given over here. We are going to study the different types of angles in the form of clock. Okay, so when there is 120, you will see it is forming a uh, obtuse angle. So we have to write obtuse angle because it is more than 90. Next is 830, which is in the form of acute angle. So this is supposed to be an acute angle. 3 o'clock, so it is supposed to be a right angle next is supposed to be a obtuse angle which is in the form of four uh, sorry 335 you all can read it as 335 and the angle that is formed is more than 90 degree therefore it is an obtuse angle next is 545 so you can see it is in the form of little more it is there okay more than 90 degree little a slightly difference is there so you all can name this as obtuse angle next is 10 o'clock 10 o'clock is in the form of this it is in the form of a you all can see so obviously it is an acute angle so in short you all have to compel these two things and write the names of each angle which are being given in the form of a clock this question can come for exam that you all have to name the angles which are in the form of clock okay so it is very easy simple way you all can remember these three things 90 degree less than 90 degree more than 90 degree less than 90 degree acute more than 90 degree obtuse that's it let's move on to the next question now over here we have to write the names of the angle so writing the names of the angle is very easy you all can write it in two ways you all have to write it in two ways i'm going to solve this exercise in the textbook itself it was already been done but i'm going to repeat it again over here so you all can read it as angle p q r or r q p vertex q and arms p q RQ. Arms मतलब दो arms जो होते हैं जो जिससे angle बनता है that is supposed to be the arms. Now many of you all ask can we write QR and P, R, P, Q, P over here? Yes, you all can interchange the names. It will not matter anything. Now we will write the name for L, M, N or angle N, M, L. Vertex M. And the arms, as I said, you all can write this and this, any one of your choice. So, LM and MN or NM, one and the same. Next is going to be angle SUT, SUT or angle TUS. What is, is this where the angle is formed? So, it is U. Arms are S U and U T. Got it, children? So it is very easy. Now we are going to study how we have to draw an angle using a protector. Okay, so using a protector, and we have to find the uh, angles that have been already given in the textbook. Okay, the problem set number 25. You all can see the diagrams are already been given. You all have to measure them using a protector. Now, what is a protector? Many of you all called it as a D also. So, this is supposed to be the protector. You all have to use this in order to measure the angles that have been given in the textbook. Given in the textbook, you all have to draw and then write the names. I am going to show you how you all have to measure it and then I am going to teach you all how you all have to draw it. Okay, so over here, 
in this way you'll have to measure it so you can see this is a approximately 40 degree wala angle okay so this way you'll have to arrange let me check yes now this is supposed to be your 40 degree this center you'll have to this center you'll have to keep it over here this line 0 degree wala this you'll have to place it over here so aise isko place karna hai right so in this way this is supposed to be 40 degree next is this now how are you going to measure this you all can turn the page also but as i said zero degree ka jo ye point hai you all have to place it over here then jo zero degree ka angle hota hai wo straight line pe aana chahiye then you all can see it is 115 to ye ho gaya hamara 100 110 and after 110 or patch line hai is it is said to be as 115 degree it is very easy if you all know this it's well and good if you all are not knowing it understand it and draw it no problem now next is supposed to be a right angle which is already been done but i'm going to show you how you have to read it so center point you all have to place it over here in this way 0 degree ka angle in the straight line and you will see you are getting a 90 degree wala so it is said to be a 90 degree angle next the last one is in this way you all have to place i think it is visible the center point yaha pe 0 degree ka angle straight and you will see that you have got the angle as 95 or 85 let me check again so 80 and 85 not 95 it is 85 see 80 is over here okay after that 5 dot is there this is the line okay this is the line so it is said to be as 85 degree now i'm quickly going to show you how you all have to draw because in the next exercise also we have to draw but in exam we need to draw measure bhi karna hai draw bhi karna hai so both the things i'm going to teach you first we will draw 40 degree wala angle let's be quick in drawing it it's very easy base draw karna hai uska measurement nahi liya to bhi chalega then you all have to place it in this way then draw a 40 degree ka essay 40 degree internal numbers lene hai draw a dot over here you all can pause and then you all can do step by step. Pause kar kar ke, ek ek step karo. It will be very easy. Name is not given but we will name it A, B, C. Alright. Next was 115. So, uske liye bhi kaise karna hai? Base draw karo pehle. Okay. So, this is your base. Then this is going to be your center point. Zero degree straight rakho. Okay. 115 is being given. So, 115 kaise aayega? Internal numbers lene hai. I think it is going over here. No problem. I will show you how you all have to draw. So, till here also we can take the angle. Now, you will wonder... Uh, that these diagrams are given in this way you all can draw it in this way also no problem but i will recommend you all to draw it in a straight way because as a draw karne mein you all might make mistake because it's the first time that you all are drawing the angles so try and draw it in the straight way if you all want you all can draw the ones that are being given in the textbook this and this it's it's one and the same 115 ka hi angle aane wala hai Next is supposed to be a 90 degree angle. So, you all can, as I said, you all can draw the one that has been given in the textbook. But I will show you the exact 90 degree kaise draw karna hai. So, this is your 0 degree wala angle, 0 degree. And then, yaha pe mera 90 a jata hai. I will put a dot first. And then, I will join in this way. So, ye ho gaya mera 90 degree angle. Next was supposed to be 85 degrees. So again 85 degree a different figure has been given. No problem. The teacher has to see only the angle. What type of the angle you all have drawn. So you have to draw it in this way. If you all want it you all can draw it the other way which has been given in the textbook also. So 85 ke liye 80 and then 5 numbers I have placed. So fir 85 ka angle nikal. 
area so that is 85 degree now you will see both the all the four figures are different from the uh, questions that are uh, from the figures that have been given in the textbook but you all have to understand these are already printed and these we have drawn according to the measures that we have measured on this so if you all want to draw it this way you all can draw it even if this you all have drawn it is going to be correct now let's move on to the next question which is again the same draw an angle of the given measures now for this we will have to move to practice set number 26 okay now in this we have to draw the angles number and number and the degree is been given 60 degree 120 degree numbers are being given we have to draw our angle just as i have shown you all the same way you all have to draw okay then we will move on to types of angles we have starting mein hi kara hai, but the statements are mentioned over here these statements are going to be in the exam as fill in the blank so you all have to learn them by heart ye 10th tak chalne wala hai you all don't have to forget these statements so remember them by heart now let's move on to the first question which is 60 degree ka angle so i'll show you how you all have to draw 60 degree ka angle now first i will draw 0 degree angle place my point over here and then i will take 60 degree over here okay inside number you all have to take then i will join them and name this as 60 degree a b and c so this is my angle a b c 60 degree got it next is supposed to be 120 degree so i will be drawing it over here Similar usko 0 degree le liya. then I will be placing my midpoint over here center point here 120 matlab under ke number here 120 then you all have to place it over here aise karke mera 120 ka angle aa gaya. okay if you all are not able to understand pause the video draw it step by step along with me P Q R so ye ho jayega angle p q r is equal to 120 degree next is 90 degree 90 degree ka maine already dikhaya hua hai so same angle you all have to draw i think we don't need to draw it we need to draw 150 which is the next question so 150 ke liye i will draw a line over here jo hoga mera 0 degree to 150 is coming over here andar ke numbers lene hai which is showing over here to ye ho gaya mera 150 angle this is supposed to be 150 degree x y z so angle x y z is equal to 150 degree got it children in this way you all have, you all have to draw your angles next is supposed to be 30 degree so 30 degree again i will show you how you all have to draw it uh, chuta angle hai. so this is going to be my zero degree under se 30 degree yaha pe hai so i will place my point over here and ye ho jayega mera 30 degree so no matters agar aapke arms chote bade hote hai it won't matter koi farak nahi padne wala hai don't get afraid pqr pqr is equal to 30 degree okay next is 165 degree so 165 degree thoda door hi usko karte hai next is 45 degree to usko hum adjust kar lenge so i think i will draw it over here because it's going to be a flat figure so ye ho jayega mera uh, zero degree and then the number is 165 so 160 kaha pe hai and uske baad patch points matlab it is going to be over here okay then the symbol it is going to be a flat figure to zyada space lagne wali thi therefore i have drawn it in this way so ye ho gaya mera x y z 165 ka angle so angle x y z is equal to 165 degree all right so in this way you all have to draw 165 and the last figure is supposed to be 45 to main isko yahi pe nikal lungi because let's not waste the page 
तो यहाँ पे होगा मेरा फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री प्लेसिंग फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी फाइव राइट ओवर यो एंड तेरा एको यहाँ पे हो गया मेरा लास्ट फिगर व्हिच वाज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दैट इज ए बी सी नेम यू ऑल कैन गिव एनी नेम नो प्रॉब्लम ओके सो now over here 26 practice set is over while solving uh, if you are not able to draw any angle let me know in the comment section children now let's move on to the next topic which is types of angle types of angles we have already done angle of measure 90 is called 90 degree angle which measure less than 90 degree or right angle is said to be acute angle an angle which measures more than right angle is called an obtuse angle more than 90 degree obtuse angle less than 90 degree acute angle and 90 degree right angle so these are the names that you all have to learn so next topic is supposed to be parallel lines do not intersect that is they do not cut each other no matter how far they are extended on either sides सबसे पहली बात तो व्हाट आर पैरेलल लाइंस तो पैरेलल लाइंस आर लाइंस जो एक दूसरे के सामने होते हैं एंड देन दे वो इंटरसेक्ट इंटरसेक्ट मतलब वो कितने भी चाहे खींच लो तुम कितना भी लंबा कर लो दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू क्रॉस ईच अदर सो दीस काइंड ऑफ लाइंस आर सेट एक्सक्यूज मी सेट टू बी पैरेलल लाइंस ओके पैरेलल लाइंस आर सच लाइंस परपेंडिकुलर लाइंस वो होती है जो आपको 90 डिग्री का एंगल देती है ऑलराइट I'll show you along with the questions. Now, first two questions we don't have to do it because it's an activity-based question, so I'm not going to solve it. Next, third question: Look at the pictures given below. Decide whether the lines given in each picture are parallel or perpendicular to each other. Write the answer in the box. Now, two lines have been given. These are parallel lines. Such a figure has been given. Such figure, which is in this way, is said to be a perpendicular. लाइन पैरेलल लाइन पैरेलल लाइन परपेंडिकुलर लाइन बिकॉज ये दोनों 90 डिग्री का एंगल फॉर्म करते हैं देयरफॉर दे आर सेट टू बी परपेंडिकुलर लाइंस नाउ ओवर योर द लेसन कंप्लीट लेसन इज ओवर आई होप दिस लेसन इज क्लियर टू एवरीवन इफ देयर इज एनी क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग एनी क्वेश्चन लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन चिल्ड्रन आई वुड लव टू हियर फ्रॉम यू ऑल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर बाय